$29.3 billion. That is the total of how much the 30 richest people in Ghana are worth in 2022. Who are these people? How much are they worth individually? Where do they get their wealth from? Just stick around and find out. The richest Ghanaian on this list is worth more than $1.4 billion. Do you know who? You can leave your guess in the comments below before we proceed. Ghana, a middle-income country, is home to some of Africa's wealthiest individuals. With its vast cultural, tourist, mineral, and other resources, it is one of Africa's pride. The country's mixed and digital economy has helped to create a new breed of billionaires who have become the richest people in Ghana. Even better, some of them rank among Africa's richest people. Besides having the fifth largest stock exchange in Africa, Ghana also ranks as the world's second largest producer of cocoa. All these, coupled with its vast resources, have helped the country to be classified as a middle-income nation. Ghana's richest people currently control at least 2.5 billion US dollars, which represents 6.4% of Ghana's gross domestic product. They have a combined wealth of 29.3 billion US dollars total and employ over 150,000 Ghanaians directly. Before we get started, you can help our channel grow by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates. Without any more delay, let's dive into the 30 richest Ghanaians in 2022. Watch till the end because this is going to be mind-blowing. At the bottom of our list of the top 30 richest Ghanaians, we have 30. McDonald Vesnani, $360 million McDonald Vesnani is the 30th richest Ghanaian according to Forbes, with a net worth of $360 million. He is considered one of the leading personalities in the logistics industry in Ghana and gained most of his wealth from his business operations. He is the founder and CEO of several business units, such as Consolidated Shipping, one of the most renowned in the country. McDonald also owns Barack Ventures Limited, a construction firm. Over the years, Consolidated Shipping has successfully built its presence in the freight forwarding and logistics market at national and international levels through key relationships with its clients and partner agents. 29. Bhagwan Kupchandani $380 million. Bhagwan Kupchandandi is one of the richest people in Ghana in 2022. His wealth is an inheritance of his late father who died a year ago. He owns the Malcolm Group of Companies, which is one of the largest groups in Ghana. His net worth stands at $380 million gotten from this business. Malcolm operates the biggest supermarket chain in the country and employs over 1,800 people in 30 supermarket stores in Ghana. You must have visited or at least noticed one of the Malcolm supermarkets if you've ever landed in Accra. Now you know about Bhagwan and the Malcolm Group. Next on the list. 28. B. Geek Amandi. $400 million. He is a Ghanaian of Manchurian descent, living in the Ashanti region. Amandi grew up to become a millionaire as a result of his aluminum smelting business. His net worth stands at $400 million. BK Amandi owns some of Ghana's aluminum companies, including Ghana Metal Fabrication and Construction Limited and its subsidiary, AEEL Engineering Limited, which are both engaged in large-scale steel fabrications and the processing and exporting of scrap aluminum, respectively. His firm is also responsible for the construction of pipe laying for large-scale transport pipe projects and the establishment of connections to oil and gas facilities. 27. Enrico De Simone, $400 million Enrico De Simone is the 27th richest person in Ghana on the list. He obtained his fortune through the inheritance of his father, who owned a company called De Simone. Today, the company has employed more than 600 people in civil aviation, transport, and other areas. Enrico has a net worth of $400 million. To date, his company has built and refurbished several commercial and residential properties in Ghana and currently has operations and executes projects in Mali, Niger, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and Liberia. 26. Kwabena Adji, $400 million. Kwabena Adji 
sometimes referred to as Nkanya Terminator, was a member of parliament in Ghana some years back. He is a renowned politician and businessman with a net worth of $400 million, making him one of the richest people in Ghana in 2022. Kwabena acquired his fortune from Casapreco, which currently has a staff strength of about 130 and is the largest producer of alcoholic beverages in Ghana ahead of brands like Guinness and Estair beer. The company has installed two new state-of-the-art liquor producing lines at the cost of $30 million, with the capacity to produce 70,000 bottles per hour. 25. Dr. Cuisine Down $420 million Cuisine Down is a 79-year-old professor based in the Legan locality in Accra, Ghana, with a net worth of $420 million. He has worked for various organizations in the country before becoming the rich man he is today. The politician and businessman is also the founder of several businesses operating in different parts of Ghana, which he runs alongside his wife. Apart from being a politician in the Progressive People's Party in Ghana, Cuisine Down is also into business, which has yielded him a great fortune over the years. 24. Theresa Apong Burko $420 million. Theresa Apong Burko is ranked the 24th richest Ghanaian in 2022. She is the president of the Manit Group, which comprises Manit Housing. The real estate magnet is into housing and accommodation, which has made her net worth amount to $420 million. Although the real estate space in Ghana is dominated by men, she stands on her ground as one of the strongest to ever surface in the face of the industry. Theresa holds a Bachelor of Arts Honors degree in Sociology and Political Science and a Master's in Business Administration from the University of Ghana, Ligon. 23. Said Fakhri $430 million Said Fakhri is a Kenyan of Lebanese descent. He set up the Interplast Company in 1970 and today, he has amassed a net worth of $430 million. Interplast is privately owned by the Fakhri family and is one of the largest manufacturing firms in Ghana and one of the biggest producers of plastic pipe systems and fittings in West Africa. The company operates under three brand names, and that includes Interplast for pipes and fittings, Everlast for reinforced unplasticized polyvinyl chloride doors and windows, and lastly, Panelast for wall and ceiling panels. 22. Thomas Stanekir $450 million. Thomas Stanekir was born in 1960. He is a leading Ghanaian entrepreneur and philanthropist. He is also the founder and executive chairman of the Spiny Group, an automobile conglomerate. He is currently worth $450 million. Thomas is also the chairman of the advisory board of Fidelity Bank, a fast-growing financial institution in the country. Stanekir ventured into private equity with the creation of Africa Capital LLC, which invests in transportation, energy, finance, and real estate projects. The company is well known in Ghana as a job creator and investor responsible for a significant portion of the economic expansion and modernization between the 1980s and late 2000s. Next up, 21. The Bidar Family $460 million. This is the family of the late John Rachid Batar, a Ghanaian of Lebanese origin. He was a cash crop farmer in the Brong Ahafo region in the 1950s and later on started a family business on it. Today, their net worth stands at $460 million, gotten from the established John Batar and Partners Limited. They also own large factories specializing in the manufacture of tropical wood. The Bidar family's wealth is mainly from timber processing. The company has a total forest concession of 1,000 square kilometers and employs over 3,700 workers with an average annual turnover of over $40 million. 20. Serge Bacalian $460 million Serge is a Ghanaian believed to have descended from Armenia. He is the executive director of a popular Ghanaian company, Takarati Flour Mills. The company he heads is his late father's property and is among the few in the industry, making a considerable fortune in Ghana. 
Serge Bakalian has emerged successful in the business arena and is associated with a net worth of $460 million. 19. Gassonyard $480 million The 19th person on the list of the 30 richest people in Ghana in 2022 is Gassonyard. Through his ownership of Four Win Ghana Limited, Gassan Yerid is presently ranked as one of Ghana's leading business giants and he has a net worth of $480 million. His success did not come in a fortnight. He has worked his way up from 1993 to date in various businesses. Since its establishment in 1993, the Ghanaian firm Four Win Ghana Limited has been a successful enterprise that has made its name through vibrant distribution and marketing functions. 18. Kwapena Agior Dankwa, $500 million. Kwapena Agior Dankwa is the founder of Metalex Company in Ghana. He is a famous business tycoon who has amassed a net worth of $500 million. Metalex is a thriving business venture actively concerned with the production of premium roofing material. The company currently exports products to West African countries, including Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Togo. Kwabena Aguirre's main source of wealth, however, is engineering. 17. Elias Azar and Family $520 million Elias Azar is a Lebanese immigrant in Ghana. He set up a chemical company called City Paints in the country in 1968 and traded in building materials and imported paint. The company began manufacturing paints in Ghana in the 1980s, operating under the name Azar Chemical Industries, which later became the Azar Group, comprising City Paints Supply Limited and Sinres Ghana Limited. City Paints deals in paints and related products, while Sinres deals in the production of packaging products. Elias and the company now have a net worth of $520 million raised from the Azar Group. 16. The Hitty Family $540 million. In 1973, Robert Hitty set up a factory for the production of plastics. It is today a family business having a net worth of $540 million. A family business, the Hitty Group started with one small depot and equipment that gave it an operating capacity of between 50 metric tons and 100 metric tons per month. With a total of 60 employees, its annual turnover fluctuated between $200,000 and $300,000 in the early years. Today, the Hitty Group consists of nine companies, located all over the African continent. 15. Al Haji Adamu Idritu, $550 million. Al Haji Adamu Idrisu is a renowned wealthy man in Ghana. He owns and manages the Global Haulage, which was formerly known as ADA Idrisu Transport. The 15th richest man in Ghana, Adamu, has a net worth of $550 million from diversified businesses and family inheritance. Global Haulage maintains its prominence as a company actively concerned with cocoa evacuation in Ghana. 14. Ranchind Adara Moinani, $580 million. Ranchind Adara Moinani is the owner and manager of the Mohinani Group in Ghana. He has maintained his massive wealth base in the Mohinani Group with a net worth of $580 million. The Moinani Group is known to have possessed several influential companies, including Somavision and Polytank, among others. The 88-year-old businessman's source of wealth comes from the Mohinani Group's business interests in packaging, consumer durable distribution, electronics retail, real estate, quick service restaurants, and hospitality. 13. Joseph Shaw Ajipong $600 million He is a dynamic businessman in Ghana who owns the Jospong Group. Presently, he is carrying out business in over 11 African countries. Joseph Shaw Ajipong has a net worth of $600 million in 2022 and is ranked as the 13th richest individuals in Ghana. His business organization is a large conglomerate that carries out diverse activities with several companies in other parts of Africa and the world. The company's trade volume with these companies was worth $4.4 billion as of 2013. 12. Mildred Millet and Family $620 million Mildred is another Ghanaian who descended from Lebanon. 
He is the founder of Spintex Limited Company, a firm that deals with the production of textiles. The company, however, faced severe competition as a result of the influx of imported used clothing onto the Canyon market. For one thing, Mildad's locally produced textiles could not compete with low-priced used clothing. The name of the company was subsequently changed to Printex in 1997. Despite the huge competition, Mildad's net worth is reported at $620 million today, having generated enormous returns from the textile-making company. 11. The Awad Darko Family $650 million Having descended from the late Nana Awad Darko, the Awad Darko family comprises individuals including Kingsley Quaim Awad Darko, Daniel Awad Darko Jr., David Awad Darko, and Harold Awad Darko. Nana Awa Darko began his career as an insurance broker in Ghana before the Ghanaian government passed a law that prohibited government agencies from dealing with insurance brokers. After he passed away in 2005, his family took over his insurance company, known as Vanguard Assurance, one of the insurance companies that strongly exist in Ghana today. The existing Awa Darko family has a net worth of $650 million generated from its Vanguard group of companies. 10. Kwabena Duffer, $680 million. In the 10th position, we have Kwabena Duffer. Other than his massive shareholding in Unibank, he serves as the CEO of House of Duffer Asset Holdings. Currently, Kwabena Duffer is worth $680 million. He has acquired lots of benefits from business dealings, and he is widely known as the founding father of the Institute of Fiscal Studies. Apart from his essential presence, his sons are famous for their significant roles in the commercial industry in Ghana. He earned so much money when he served as the governor of the Bank of Ghana, which increased his net worth to become one of the richest people in Ghana. 9. Komoni Family, $700 million this is another family on our list, and it is the ninth richest in Ghana. With a net worth of $700 million, the Komoni family's wealth is greatly associated with Japan Motors. The Komoni family is believed to have evolved through Komoni and Sons established in 1912 by the grandfather of the present family, Salem Komoni. Salem Komoni is the late patriarch of the Komoni family. He is a Lebanese immigrant who arrived in Ghana before the First World War. After his death, his sons took over his company named Kalmoni and Sons. In the eighth position is a lady. Let's discover who she is. 8. Patricia Poku Diaby $720 million Patricia Poku Diaby is one of Ghana's high esteemed entrepreneurs. She is also the richest woman in Ghana. Her net worth of $720 million is believed to have stemmed from her ownership of the Plot Enterprise Group in Ghana, a venture concerned with the processing of cocoa in Ivory Coast and Ghana. The company in Ghana was fully functional in 2010 and equipped with different machines and plants. One of its plants located in Takoradi, Ghana, is valued at $90 million. Before establishing the Plot Enterprise Group, Diaby actively engaged in her family business venture, which specialized in transportation and trading. Today, Patricia Poku has made so much money from her plant importation to different countries worldwide, which has helped her rank among the wealthiest people in Ghana. 7. The Irani Family, $800 million This is another family on the list of 30 richest Ghanaians. It comprises the pair of Edmund Irani and Anthony Irani, who are brothers of Lebanese descent. The Irani family, through the Irani Brothers and Others Limited, accounts for over 60% of wheat flour in Ghana, which has given them so much money to be among the richest people in Ghana, with a net worth of $800 million. The family exports over 180,000 metric tons of wheat annually that is milled into bread and other pastries. 6. Mohamed Ahmed Odaymat $850 million. Believed to have a net worth of $850 million, Mohamed Ahmed Odaymat is one of Ghana's leading business gurus. He is currently the chairman of IPMC, a company that focuses on developing a digital economy in Ghana through systems integration, software development, and IT skill development programs.
Mohamed Ahmed also has business engagements with BBC Industrial Limited in Ghana, where he currently serves as board chairman. The seasoned businessman has other companies to his name, including Rana Motors and Metalworks Engineering, which have helped him earn a vast net worth to become one of the richest people in Ghana. Let's get to know the fifth richest Ghanaian as of 2022. 5. Michael Ibrahim Mahama, $860 million. Michael Ibrahim is the fifth richest man in Ghana with a net worth that hovers around $860 million. Believed to have grown a liking for the private sector from his childhood days, the wealthy businessman is the younger brother of the former president of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama. Michael Ibrahim owns Africa's largest indigenously owned mining firm, Engineers and Planners, a company focused on mining, construction, and civil works, hiring heavy-duty equipment, and consulting services. The famous businessman has invested across different areas of the Ghanaian economy over the years, which helped him earn huge money to become the fifth richest person in Ghana. 4. Naval Edmund Mukarzel, $900 million. A well-known Ghanaian businessman, Nabil Mukarzel is the fourth richest man among the top richest men and women in Ghana in 2022. The famous businessman owns the largest shares in Fina Trade, one of the largest food manufacturing and distribution companies in West Africa. His company, Fina Trade Group, is specialized in commodities and is one of Ghana's voluminous enterprises. Nabil's heavy investment in the Fina Trade Group has seen his net worth skyrocket to $900 million. 3. Kwame Ozi Despite $1.1 billion A renowned Ghanaian businessman and entrepreneur, Kwame Ozi, Despite is the CEO of the Despite Media Group and the Despite Group of Companies. He is well known among Ghanaians as one of the richest people in Ghana who rose to prominence despite having no formal education. Today, he is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the country. Kwame started life as a trader, selling music cassettes, feeding bottles, padlocks, and other goods at Dunkwa Afinso, a locality in the central region of Ghana. After many years of struggle to make it in life in the village, he moved to Nigeria along with his colleagues in search of greener pastures. Kwame Osi is the third richest man in Ghana with an estimated net worth of $1.1 billion as of 2022. 2. Sir Sam Jonah 1.2 billion dollars. Sam Jana is an influential personality who has massively contributed to the mining industry in Ghana. With the influence of his company, Jana Capital, he possesses about 14 mineral resource assets in several African countries. His present net worth stands at 1.2 billion US dollars. It's time to find out who the richest person in Ghana is. But before we find out if you're enjoying this video so far, do well to like and subscribe to our channel. It will help us produce more awesome videos like this for you. Seated at the top position is 1. Ernesto Terracon, $1.3 billion Charles Ernesto Terracon tops the list of the richest people in Ghana according to Forbes in 2022. He was once ranked as the second richest person in Ghana behind the former richest man in Ghana, late Charles Ampofo, who died in 2020 after battling illness for four years. Ernesto, an investor in Ghana's bustling business ecosystem, was born in Italy around 1948. He arrived in Ghana with his father and siblings in 1968. He is the CEO and manager of the Tresaco Group, which specializes in agro-business, construction, mining, design, and real estate development. Tresaco Estate Development Company, a subsidiary of the Trasaco Group, has invested more than $500 million in ongoing projects across Ghana. Said to have employed more than 400 Ghanaians, together with foreigners through his company, the famous businessman currently has a net worth of $1.3 billion. Hope you enjoyed our roundup of the 30 richest people in Ghana in 2022. It is worth noting that some of these wealthy individuals got their fortunes as inheritance or from groups they founded. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to our channel to ensure the steady delivery of our content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.